Hey, Keith from KG's Garage. Let me tell you what we're doing today. The goal is to detail the 2020 Kia Stinger. It is right there underneath the cover. All this stuff has gotten piled behind it. My 350Z is being used as a storage bin. I mean, stuff on the hood. Other thing is flat tire. Anyway, I need this garage space room so I can pull the Kia in and do a good detail job on it and be able to get all the way around. So all this crap's got to be cleaned up. So I'm showing you right now. Next video here will be this will be all cleaned up. It might just be cleaned up with the snap of my fingers. There, all clean. Thanks to this guy right here. It wasn't that difficult at all. It didn't take any time. It's basically really just a snap of the fingers and this thing was clean. Yeah. I got the, that car pulled out. That car wouldn't start, I had to push it. It's on the battery charger. I'm gonna pull this now in the middle. Go get the detailing supplies and get to work. So, kind of dark in here. Not the best setup for a detailing studio. I do have some lights, but <laughs> the whole LEDs are starting to go out. You can go look and I have a video of when I put these LEDs up, but that one's flashing, that one's flashing. This one's out, so whatever. I really would like to have one of those octagons if I was gonna do more of this, but oh, that's not happening right now. Um, I just wanted to go over the car real quick. So I had the car detailed, well, I had the car washed and interior detailed. So interior is all good. Uh, I asked the guy that washed it and detailed it, he's like, oh, and I'm like, how much would it cost to detail this and put a nice protective coating on it of whatever, spray ceramic or whatever we had. He told me like $1,500. So I was like, I, I can't do that, <laughs> way too much. So decided I am going to do it myself. So I took a day off from work and this is what I'm gonna spend the day doing. And anybody can do this, but I wanna show what I want to try to get get off here. Uh, that's all right. So there's a little. I don't know if you, look at the, the color though. The color is really nice on this car. There's a scratch right here. There's some scratches on the hood. Really bad. It looks like maybe he tried to take them out or something. I don't, or somebody. I don't know. But there's more scratches there. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's good here. And then it looks like someone took some kind of sandpaper. I don't know what the hell happened. All scratches all over here. Somebody put something on top of the car when it wasn't covered. I tried to keep it, keep it covered all the time, but somebody took something off one of these shelves, put it on top of the car, and scratched it. There's a scratch here. I'm going to go over it with a detailer. Uh, there's a scratch right here. Scuff mark. There's, I don't know what happened here. Some white paint or something look at it all along here something rubbed up against it i want to get this off this is with the sticker that was here where we bought it from this is the worst you can probably see these scratches one two three they're like four five set six set six scratches i don't know if i'll be able to get that out there's a little this might come out it looks like just paint transfer scrape here Scratch there. The scuff here. Scratches there. Oh my gosh. Scratches there. Another scratch over here. Yeah, this will come out. This is. This isn't a problem right here. That'll come out. A little buff. Oh, something there. Oh, the top. The top. There shouldn't be really anything. Even under the cover, it got all dusty. Get it. Or it could be I had it sitting outside for a couple seconds. Scratch there. there are water spots. And now we're back to here. Wow, that's a big scratch there. Oh, no, that's just something that's on there. All right, good. Okay, so it's got spider webs all over it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I got all my stuff in one of these deals over here. I'm gonna get quick detailer, quick detail it all, get all the 
stuff off of it, whatever's on there, spider webs and dust and everything. Um, you know what? Let me pause here. Let me pause here for a second and I will um, show you the products that I'm using. And also, I want to show you this. What I get this is this is a Chemical Guys Ultra Bright XL LED flashlight. 430 lumens. It's pretty bright. It's nice when you put it right against the, the paint on the camera. It doesn't, you can't see the individual LEDs, but in person you can. I put it lower. I don't know, but you, it, it, it shows the, all the uh, imperfections really well. So we're going to see what it looks like now. And then uh, after I'm done. But let me, let me pull the products out and I'll show you what I'm using. Okay, so like I said, the first step, I'm going to go over the, with this quick detailer. <sighs> Chemical guys. Um, any quick detailer will work. I just This is what I have. And after I do that, you know, and then I'll use the microfiber towel, wipe it off. So that should get all the dust off. Then after that, I will use again, quick detailer with a clay bar. This is Adams, just what I have. Um, I have this clay here and a brand new clay bar. I'll probably use the brand new clay bar. Also, I have another semi-used clay bar right here that I can use. Um, after that, after I do the whole clay barring, then I have an assortment of different pads here. Whatever pad I need. I have the Orbiter right here. Torque 15DA, random orbital, orbital polisher, polisher. So that's put one of these one of these pads on it. And depending on depending on how bad the scratch is or the the um depending on how bad the scratch is or the fading or the hazing. Um I out which one I need here. This is a cutting, cutting, <clears throat> this is cutting polish, so that's really abrasive. Uh, what else do I got here? Final grade, so this is what you, you put that on last. And what is this? Swirl remover. So the order would be this. <clears throat> and then you use different pads. And what do I have here? Extreme compound. I guess this is even rougher. Yeah, this is 32. So actually, if I need something to get deep scratches out, I'm, I'm gonna try not to wet sand any of this. I really don't want to. Um, so I don't think that's gonna be a good idea. So maybe try a little bit of this on the deep scratches. I can probably skip this on the whole car. So what I'll do is use this on the deep scratches. Probably hit the whole car with this. Go back because it's gonna be swirl marks. After you use this, there'll be swirl marks. Then use a different pad and go back with this. It will remove this, the swirl marks. And then finally use this final grade polish to get everything and make it all. And you use a a fine pad for this. Um, use this as the last buffing well that's going to be three times going over the car this is going to this is going to take a while what i might try doing is parts parts where i don't have scratches where i just need to just buff a little bit i might try going with just a scratch and swirl remover and then the final i don't want to i don't need to buff down a whole layer of clear coat i just need to get the scratches the whole car doesn't need i don't think now I think about it the whole car probably doesn't need the coarse one um then after all that's done all the contaminants are off all the you know i clay barred it did all this smoothed it out got all the scratches out hopefully I get all the scratches out i'm gonna go over and use this here hybrid solutions 
spray ceramic coating. There's a guy on YouTube, uh, Project Farm, he compares all this stuff. And a couple years ago, he, tried, he did all the spray waxes, and that was one of the best ones. The next one up was, so that, that bottle's, this bottle's like, right now, in 2024, like 15 bucks. Something like that. Um, the next one up, that was, that one was, you know, like four times as much. So I figured, that's good enough. I'm not, I don't, I'm not detailing cars, just my own cars. I don't need to get the really, really expensive stuff. So then I looked, and he just redid the video in 2024 with all the spray ceramic coatings, and then he even had some of the ones you put on a sponge, and you go over, and you have to wait a while, and buff it, and the expensive ones. The, the one that was the best, I think it was Adam's Polish, whatever, you can go look at his video. Um, it was $150. The next one down, next best, was this um, Hybrid Solutions. So it's, it's still pretty good up there. It's, it's a very interesting video if you go look at it and watch it. So anyway, um, I, I was just go looking at it and check it out. It's, it's pretty interesting. But I mean, it's from, it's from Turtle Wax. So me growing up, knowing Turtle Wax, not that good of a wax. So I was very uh, skeptical about getting this stuff, but it works great. I did it on my HHR. It works awesome. And uh, my Red Bolt that I had. And that it looked awesome after that, and the water beat it off, and I, it, it and it lasted a long time. So that's what I'm looking for, lasting a long time. So I'm gonna start getting to work on this. I don't know if I'm gonna put. I don't know if you need to see me sitting there cleaning off the dust and and all. So I'll I'll stop here and there and show you you know what at certain points what's going on. I don't think you need to see me doing the whole thing, do you? I don't I don't think so. Anyway. I might do a time lapse, but we'll see. Anyway, let me get, get to work. Also, I forgot. Get some gloves. Um, if you're like me and you work on cars, your hands aren't really smooth and they're kind of rough. And when you start messing with this, these, the microfiber, it like digs into your hands. It, it's a very unpleasant feeling having the microfiber just like it's weird, it's like digging into your hands. So uh, anyway, get some gloves, and plus it helps. You're not getting all those chemicals on your hand. Anyway, uh, all right, that's all right. Like I said, let me get to work. So you can see a difference, uh, at least I can, with from here. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. This side here is clay barred. And this side's not. Got a bunch of uh, water spots, little contaminants. It didn't take any of the scratches out. You can see a scratch right there. Um, and it does look better already. So I just did half the hood. Anyway, I'm gonna continue. Um, when you're using the, you got the fan going. Sorry. When you're using that clay, you can actually feel it. Um, free up like if it has contaminants on it it'll be like sticking really really all, sticking a lot and then you can actually hear it scrape and scrape and then once you get to the clean spot and it's clean it it just slides right no problem so it, that, that's how it works but I'm gonna continue clay barring like I said I just got this section right here done I have the whole rest of the car to do so let me uh well, look there's a water spot right here I don't know if you can see it didn't come out I'll hit that again with clay and see if it comes out if not I'm gonna, I'm gonna be polishing it so hopefully this stuff uh, comes off all right let me get to work here all right so we got this sticker stuff still here um, I took a plastic razor blade and, and razor blazed it and uh, that got most of it off but there's still this sticky stuff on there so we got some of the CRC gasket remover and I'm spraying it on a rag. And then just going on here, it takes it right off. I 
I'll go over this a couple times and this will be all gone. So anyway, that gasket, gasket stuff takes it right off. And then I'll, when I come buff this thing, I'll clean it all up. But it's still, it's all gluey stuff on there. I gotta get all that off. I, this rag doesn't exactly totally clean. I'm gonna go get a cleaner one and so I can get all the stuff off of there. All right, a little update. I'm halfway there. I've clay barred all the way up to here. I got the rest of this. Well, actually, I'm almost done. These two doors, fender's done, and the roof. Okay, I'm done with the clay bar. The clay bar did take some of the stuff off. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there was some white stuff here. This, I think, is an actual chip, but there was white stuff here. You can still see a little bit here. I, when I hit that with the compounder, it'll come off. Uh, I got this off. I got a, there's still like some glue on there, I think. I just got to buff that. Um, yeah, so we got it pretty smooth. This back is still has all water spots on it, so that's horrible. I guess little, little rub marks here. This stuff should come off with like polishing compound. Um, something else, oh, look, look at this. And this is just clay barred it and, and, clear, and took it off. So as soon as I come back and like buff this a little bit, that would be really nice. Uh, front, front's got some chips in it and stuff that wouldn't come out. This scrape, I don't think that's going to come out. Um, before I get the buffer out, I'm going to tape all this black trim here. I'm just going to go around here, tape this. I'm going to tape the front emblem because I don't want to rub anything on here. Any compound on here um, I could probably avoid other spots but really just around the window yeah I'm gonna tape that off and same thing on the other side I just want to tape this this rubber off because it's like I don't know I just want to tape it off if I hit it with a buffer it's gonna shine up a, it might shine up a piece of it and I'm, I don't want to have to shine the whole thing up and plus it's rubber, it's, I shouldn't really mess with it. Uh, yeah, if I get compound on other stuff, it'll come off. And it's going to be a problem. I'm going to have to get like a little toothpick or something. I got clay inside here. So, that's going to be fun to get out. This is the uh, the chip protectors. Same thing on the door sides. It's got some, it's on there too. So this little clay got stuck on there. When I took the clay and went this way, it got stuck on there. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I'm probably gonna take the plate off so I can get in there. And yeah, okay, let me uh, tape it. And I'll start, I'm probably gonna start with the heavy compound on the hood here. Because this is where a lot of the scratches are. And I just thought of something. Yeah, I could actually feel this scratch right here. They have stuff that fills in. I might try that stuff. I don't have it. I would have to order it. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to buff that. See if it comes off. Because it's fairly deep. I mean, I can feel it with my finger. And... If it doesn't come out, I'll, I'll order that stuff. It's basically like clear coat that goes on there and then you just wipe it off and it fills it back in so I'm gonna try that, that I'm gonna I'll do that before I put the spray ceramic coat on there because I don't want to have to take the ceramic coat off right now it's, there's nothing on on here at all there's no wax anything I just clay barred it so it's all fresh so, all right let me uh set the I'll set this stuff up, the uh, compounder and all that, tape it, and I'll be right back. All right, so this is what I'm using. Medium heavy cutting pad, orange, with V32 Extreme Compound. I'm just going to do, I'm trying to get these this area over here with these scratches and the uh, hazing. I'm trying to get that, that cleaned up. I just want to show you that I did tape up the black weather stripping. Taped it up with the blue tape. So I'm gonna do. I'm use this. I'm going to. I'm going to this. This thing. This pad is totally dry. 
got some water in this bottle. I'm just gonna spray it a little bit. Get it a little bit damp. All right. And I got this stuff. Put a couple on here. A couple drops. Okay. All right. Keep that upside down. Now I'm just gonna dab it. I'm gonna go from right about here down just to start with. And I'm just gonna go slowly. Um, So this thing has a digital display. I guess it starts at 18. All right, so it starts at 18, goes up every thousand by there. So I'm gonna go like at like 28 and just slowly go over this. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see why I'm back. Going to uh, buff this off and see what it looks like. See what we did. All right, let's look here. Well, scratches are still there. I wasn't really expecting them to disappear but you can kind of see you can see it, it i didn't tape it off so it's not that much of it you can't the transition isn't as uh, good but you can see up here where it's more hazy than down over here and that was just one pass so like there's so many scratches this hood is all so i'm gonna try uh i'm gonna buff it out a little bit more there's also scratches here i didn't notice until now But I'm gonna try buffing it, buffing it one more time, this area, and see if we can get some of these scratches out. It got rid of the, it looks like it got rid of some of the haze, like someone tried to clean it, but, oh man, I don't know. Let me try buffing it a little bit more. I, I would hate, I, I really don't wanna go get wet sand. I don't wanna wet sand it. All right. Oh, these scratches. Still there. I went with the uh, green. That's the heaviest pad I have with the same V32. And, I mean, they're still there. Uh, I don't want to go any, any, any coarser. So, I'm done with that. I think the next approach is going to be actually filling it in. Because it looks like I'm gonna have to take away too much clear coat to get rid of that stuff. So I'm not gonna I'm not willing to do that. I don't know how thick you know, I don't know how much clear coat's on here, probably not that much. And then if I do wet sand it, you can have a, a flat spot there. And I'm not wet sanding the whole car. So that's going to stay there. I'm going to switch back to the orange pad and that's something I'm going to do the whole hood. Um, probably going to, I'll take that to the back over here. Actually, I'm going to take the green over here where the, um, where the sticker was and some of the hard spots where I saw here. So that means these scratches over here are not going to come out. I'll hit it with it, but I don't think anything's gonna happen. When I say with the, I'll hit it with, I'm gonna, uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go around with that green and just hit these spots. And then I'll go over the whole car with like a polishing. But the whole hood, I'll, I'll use the compound. 
and I'll polish the rest and I'll just compound certain spots where it looks bad and see, see if I can get it up. Okay, stick around. Let's see what it looks like when we're finished. Let me show you what I did. I used this scratch and swirl remover on the whole car and man, what color pad was that? Medium to heavy cutting pad. Nope, not that one. Green, nope. Yeah, this pad was white. The light medium polishing pad, white. I will uh, rinse it out and it'll be back to the color. But I used that on the whole car. And let me show you, that. there's one more step. The last step I have to do is uh, put this uh, ceramic spray coating on there. But the sun's gonna go down a little while. And I got that done, I wanna show you the show you what the car looks like I mean it looks it looks really good look at this look at that shine and there's still some scratches and stuff in it it's got dust on it I'm gonna go over it with uh, a cloth again one more time a clean cloth it's important to keep changing your cloths so you get a nice clean clean room that scratch there I'm gonna have to buy stuff that fills in the scratches over here this this these scratches here that I hit it for a little while with the uh, big buffer still still see it a bunch of scratches down here that's just gonna leave those that's from getting stuff in and out of the back nope I'm see I need to go back over it with the rag this scratch here still there I got a lot of the stuff out there was like some scratches on the door. Those came out. I think there was a scratch over here, like a rub mark that came out. Um, these things came out real nice. These were all had all water spots on them and everything. Came out real nice. Okay, uh, roof. Did this? This is glass. Did this? I think I don't know if this is glass. This looks like glass. I don't know. I did it anyway. So I buffed it all out. Now I can really see like the little dings. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it shows up. Uh, the hood, man, I, it's still got these scratches in it. Really, scratches here, here, here. I sat there with the rubbing compound for a while and tried to get that up, but got the whole front. The other thing I was I could do is I was gonna like a wet sand this, but if I wet sand the, the car has a texture, right? It has like orange peel on it a little bit. I don't know if you can see like see the reflection. And if I come over here, yeah. If I come over here and wet sand it to get these out, it's gonna be totally flat. It's gonna get rid of that texture and it's gonna be so noticeable. So I just I didn't wanna do that. I'm gonna try this little chips. I'm gonna to try to get the stuff that fills in the scratches. It's basically, I think, like a clear coat that you just put on. And uh, well, it looks like there's a little scrub here. I don't know if that's. Uh, and you just put it over the scratch, let it sit for a minute, and then you just wipe it off, and it fills in the scratch. That's all we need to need it to do. So I'm gonna to try to get that stuff. But look at this color. The trunk came out really good. This was this had all water spots on it. I got yeah. See, I got to go back over with a rag, clean rag. I missed some spots, but there's also scratches on top of here. Anyway, here's some B-roll. All right, well, I just wanted to, one more thing I forgot to say here. So on this polisher, I put the setting on here to 3,500. And when you have it on there, just let the machine, don't put any pressure. Just let the machine, like when you have it on top, just let the weight in the machine, just go along on here nice and smooth. Don't press down, don't do anything like that. Keep the, 
keep the polisher moving. Just keep it moving, keep it moving. Do not sit in one spot. If you sit in one spot, especially like corners and stuff, you might, yeah, I mean, it depends on which compound you're using, but you could rub through. You don't want to do that. Especially on the corners, do not sit on a corner. Just like if I do the doing it here, go this way, then get it this way, and maybe quickly just go up and down like this. And just hit that corner real quick, real, real light. Because you don't want to, if you sit here, it'll rub right through that corner. You don't want to do that. Um, same same deal on here. You know, just carefully around the corners. Corners are the, the where the, you'll get bitten and you'll see the wear through. But it looks good. Next step is, like I was saying, oh, this dent now just shows points. Dent right there. Keeps popping out at me now. Uh... Yeah, the next step is I'm going to put the hybrid solutions on here. I'm going to put links to all this stuff in the uh, description. So in case you want to buy any of this stuff. Uh, but it says here, wash and dry the car. Okay. Shake well. Uh, uh, two sprays per panel. Spread and wipe. The clean folded microfiber cloth. So you put it on a microfiber cloth and then you take it off with a clean microfiber cloth just like you're waxing it and that's that's all you got to do um, it, it doesn't even say yeah it says here clay or finish polish finish first if needed apply a second coat in 12 months yep okay use a damp microfiber cloth to remove high spots or streaking so if it's stuck you just get a little damp cloth uh it can be used on anything it can be used on the glass wheels everything it says oh except the convertible top um uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, it doesn't even say you have to wait for it to, to dry, but it says do two panel or two sprays per panel. So spray, spray, wipe it, and then do. The, I'm going to do this panel, and then come back and wipe this, and then wipe this, and I'll just keep moving on. It shouldn't take that long. And then, like I said, I'm going to go back with these scratches. I'm going to get some stuff to fill in the scratches, and. I'll probably do another video on that. Just I have to buy this stuff. I don't have this stuff. I don't know what I'm buying. I gotta figure it out. But I know this stuff out there. I've seen stuff out there. But let me uh get set up and I'll do this the uh the spray. Spray ceramic coat. Alright, I'm gonna put headphones on. Put a podcast on. There we go. So shake well. I'm going to start on this side here, and I'm just going to go all the way around. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna buff it off with a clean towel. But I'm done. Just uh, took the spray, spray it on, wipe it off. The car looks pretty good. Um, the thing I found, the thing I found out was if you use the let's say the rougher side of the cloth, you got the smooth side. And you got the rougher side. The rougher side is able to get the stuff off a little bit easier with less rubbing. I just noticed there was some over here. If you use the smoother side, it doesn't take it all off. 
it looks like you have like oil and yeah, I don't know if you can see it looks like this oil on there so just go like that and it comes off all right Oh, I'm gonna have to clean it again. I'm gonna put the car cover on it. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, put the car cover on it and it was still dirty underneath. So it's gonna get dirty again. But I need to get the scratch fixer stuff. And um look at that color. Oh, I don't know if you can see the window. See the streaks? Let's see. There we go. The tape I put on here left gum residue, tape residue. All right, what do you think? It's called indigo purple or something. Goes from dark, dark blue to bright purple. It's really, I mean, I like the color. I just don't know if it's the paint, the clear coat chips easily or what. It's just all scratches and chips all, all over the place. All right, I'm gonna put it back in its spot, cover over it. And I have to, I got stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait after it dries, I'm gonna get a brush and just get it out of there. There's some there's I got some of the stuff in some of the cracks. I tried to be careful, but I just wanted to show that you don't have to go spend fifteen hundred dollars plus to have a to get your car detailed. You can just spend the whole day and uh do it yourself. Get the products. Most expensive part was that the buffer, I don't know how much it was. 300 maybe I don't know I'll, I'll have a link in the bottom in the description so you'll see it but that's that was the most expensive part other the, there's nowhere near and I have nowhere near fifteen hundred dollars into um, product and equipment um, my time I, I've been out here for nine hours doing this I mean I did take some breaks because I'm exhausted and hot so maybe how many breaks to take a lunch break I don't know maybe eight seven and seven and a half hours probably to do this so it would have caught it would have taken a, probably a detailer all day maybe probably you know maybe six hours five six hours to do this so i don't know i kind of enjoy doing this stuff i like seeing stuff come back to shining up and and you know getting cleaned so it's, it's not, that's fine i took the day off from work this is what i did on my whole day off from work so whatever um thanks for watching you want to see more of this stuff i'm going to be taking the the z out right now i just had to push it out of the garage i just started it so I, now i know it starts so i'll be taking that out i'm gonna gonna go uh grab some dinner anyway thanks for watching uh hit the like button if you like this video hit subscribe if you want to see some more videos and share it if you want to show somebody else how how to uh detail a car with basic steps i mean there's a tons of videos out there with how to do everything uh particular and you know all the little steps on and stuff like that so i didn't really want to get into all that anyway thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next video bye